Hi, I'm Nano Girl, and I want to be a superhero. And this week, the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of super strength. I've been thinking about what I could do with my super strength powers, and I think it would be an awesome superpower to have a super strong rope to lasso the baddies and catch them before they can run away. Yesterday, I looked at compressive strength and how that let us withstand being squished. But what about being stretched? The ability to withstand being stretched without snapping is called tensile strength. And it's really important any time I might need to swing in using a rope to catch the bunnies. I'd want to know that the rope was strong enough to hold my weight. Actually, better than that. I would want to know that it was strong enough to hold my weight and the weight of a bag of cookies, just in case I get hungry. Now, tensile strength can be measured with a really simple test how much force a material can take before it snaps. A rope that is used to pull or lift something heavy needs to have a high tensile strength. If you've ever looked at a piece of rope, you may have seen that it's made up of smaller strings twisted around each other. The twisting part is the important bit. Even if the individual strands aren't very strong by themselves, we can make a group of them stronger by twisting them together. If I'm going to build my super strong rope, I'm going to need to test this theory. For this experiment, you will need one sheet of paper towel, ruler, scissors, tape, string, a skewer or a stick, pencil, paper clip, an empty bottle or a bucket, some heavy things, I have some rocks, and a long and straight thing like a pole or a broom handle or a wooden spoon. So we're going to start by measuring five two centimeter strips on your paper towel and we're going to cut those out. There we go. So it's important that all of these are the same width so that it's a fair test. So now we have five identical strips. Take one out. So this is going to be the one that we use to measure our baseline tensile strength. We'll put that over there. Next, we're going to take two strips and lay them over each other like this. And we're going to tape the ends together like that. There's our next one, put that to the side. And then with our remaining two pieces, we're going to make them into a rope. So fold each piece in half lengthways. Find it easier to twist them together if they're folded. And you're going to tape them at the end. I find this also easier if you tape them onto a table. And then you're going to twist the two together There we go, nicely twisted. When you get to the end, you're gonna tape the two ends together so they don't unravel. And then untape from the table, wrap the tape around to seal it up, and there you go. Now we have a rope. These are our three samples that we are going to test the tensile strength on. Now we need a way to hang weights from them. So you're gonna take your skewer or your stick and measure five centimeters for three sections using a ruler. So we're gonna score them and then snap them. There's three. So we've got three equal five centimeter sticks. Now we're gonna cut three pieces of string that are 20 centimeters long. There you go, three pieces of string, three skewers. Now take one paper towel sample and place the skewer at one end and then curl the paper towel over to make a pocket and we're gonna tape that closed there. Next, take a piece of string and tie each end to the end of the skewer. Okay, there we go, we've got a hook. You're gonna do this for your three different samples. And so there we go, three hoops there. Next, we're gonna need something to hang our weights off. You could use an empty bucket with a handle for this, but if you don't have one of those, we can also make a little bucket using an empty plastic bottle. So we're gonna cut the top off. Now be careful, you might need an adult to help you do this. There we go and then make two holes opposite each other so we can tie some string through. Next, take a piece of string, mine's about 30 centimeters long, and tie it through and make a double knot. There you go, so you've got a little bucket. Now we need to make a hook. Take your paper clip and open it out in the middle, and that's gonna give you two hooks, one on the bottom, one on the top, like this. 
Now we need to set up our testing station. You're gonna find a long pole and you wanna suspend it between two stable surfaces. So you could have a broom handle that you balance between two chairs, for example. I am going to take a pole. Okay, so here is my broom handle. Next, we're gonna tape our samples onto the pole. So you're gonna set up your samples. Here's my one sheet and I'm going to tape it over my broom a loop. Sample number two is the one that has two sheets. Hang this one up here. And sample number three, our rope. Now for this experiment, I like to put a blanket or a mat underneath. I have a soft mat here that I'm gonna put underneath my experiment. I'm gonna make sure you do it on something, maybe on some carpet underneath or a rug or a blanket, just to absorb some of the weight when the experiment happens. Okay. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our single sheet of paper. And we're going to hang our bucket onto the end, like so. so. You see that it can take the weight. Now we're gonna start loading up the bucket. So we will start with a small ruck. One small ruck. You can take it. Okay, one slightly bigger ruck. Here we go. Oh, nope, can't take it. Okay, so that was one sheet. You can take one rock and a little bit. So let's unhook it, move to the next one. Two sheets, do we think this can take more or less? Let's have a look. We're gonna take one small rock like before and put it in. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take the slightly bigger rock. Do you think you can take it? You can take it! Okay, so let's go with a bigger rock. What do you think? Do you think you can take it? Let's have a look. Bigger rock. Oh, no way! Okay, so the two could take more, but it didn't work on the third rock. You ready for the next one? No, the next one still only had two strands, but instead they were twisted together. We're gonna see whether or not twisting helps with tensile strength. So, time for the moment of truth. Is my rope stronger because the strands are twisted? Let's find out with the help of my small but very strong super buddy, Nano Nano Girl. Okay, are you ready to help me test the strength? Perfect, she says yes. Now, I'm so confident that this rope isn't going to break that I'm gonna put you on the bucket. Yes, it's gonna to be totally safe there. All right, we're gonna hook the bucket on, we're going to hook to our rope paper towel. Here we go. Let's try one small rock. Here we go. What about a medium sized rock? Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Can it take a very large and heavy rock on top of all the other ones? It can, look at that. It's working, no, 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 girl. You are totally safe. See, I told you that you would be. Okay, wow, so that was really strong. And we were right. Twisting rope is actually a superpower. In this case, it gave us super tensile strength. Why don't you have a go at making your own super strong rope and join me again next time for another super strength experiment. I'm gonna head off and twist again.